Don't Touch the Spikes is an addictive Flappy Bird-esque game developed by Ketchup and iBox Games. In the game, you play as a pink bird who, for some unknown reason, is trapped in a box full of spikes and has to avoid them while simultaneously bashing his head against a wall so hard that he forgets what direction he's going and starts going the other way just to do the exact same thing. Every time. Not deviating from this pattern ever. To control this guy, as with many catch-up games, you just have to tap the screen. Simple and intuitive. Your score in this mode is registered as how many times you bash your head against the walls without impaling yourself on the spikes. There are also these candies that you can collect in-game or buy with in-app purchases to get upgrades for the park and the cave. We'll leave the park for now. The cave is almost the exact same thing as normal, except it's really dark, and you have a headlight to make sure you don't crash into the spikes that are scrolling down as you descend deeper into the cave. Also, the candies are replaced with green crystals. Your score is marked in this mode as how many meters you descended in the cave. But here's the hard part about this mode. As you get closer to the wall, the headlight's vertical range starts decreasing, so you can't see the spikes approaching you. This creates a sort of tension as you have to predict where the spikes will be in relation to where you land or die. I usually do the latter. Thankfully, you can upgrade your headlight by using the candies you collected to increase the brightness of your headlight, which makes it somewhat easier, although I don't see the point. The park is basically a pointless minigame where birds occasionally fly by your screen and you have to tap on them for them to drop diamonds. You can also upgrade the park to get more birds to come by, but I don't recommend it. It's pointless. There's also a multiplayer mode where you tap your half of the screen to control your bird and whoever survives the longest wins. Sadly, this mode doesn't have anything to collect. Another mode is the Duel mode, which is essentially the multiplayer mode for people who have no friends. So naturally, I've played it heaps. Another difference between this mode and the last is that whenever you defeat an enemy in this mode, you get candy. This game has 52 achievements, some of which are super easy and others incredibly hard, and challenges which are basically dumbed-down versions of achievements. Completing a certain amount of challenges can unlock different birds to play as. You can also buy birds with candy, green crystals, or diamonds. So, long story short, this game is great for when you're on a bus or have some time to kill. The cave and park modes are pretty much useless though. While they do change things up a bit, the fact that they put in a new currency for each mode is, in my opinion, just plain stupid. Just have it be candy instead. And for that, I give Don't Touch the Spikes an 8 out of 10.